Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Acoustic Scribblings. Thanks for watching today. Um, this is my 10th video I've done, so I'm excited about that. Thanks for watching everybody that has and that will be watching. Um, so I hope I'm getting a little bit better on the camera. I know my first few videos were a little bit rough, but working through a learning curve. So thanks for bearing with me. Now the song I've got for you guys today is thinking about Easter. It's called On My Cross. Easter is tomorrow. I'm filming this on Saturday. Um, I hope I can get it uploaded before tomorrow. Uh, we'll see if I can or not. But this is a really cool song. Um, it's done originally by FFH, um, which I don't listen to them, but I heard another group that covered it. And I thought it was a really cool song with a really powerful message. So it's called On My Cross. And uh, the four chords you're gonna use in this is A chord. So it's just the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th string on the 2nd fret. And the D chord, which is 1st um, string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 3rd fret, 3rd string, 2nd fret. Sounds like that. And then an E chord, which is the 5th and, or 4th and 5th, excuse me, on the 2nd fret, which would be an E minor, so you're going to do an E, which is add your index to the third string. Sounds like that. And then your minor is gonna be an F sharp minor. So it's essentially an E chord. If you're doing an E chord with these two fingers, you just drop them down, do your E minor chord, and then slide up and bar across. So that's your F sharp minor. And that's the easiest way I've found to do it. So those are the four chords you're gonna use. The, uh, the way that I start this song whenever I play is I always do a little bit of an intro with finger picking, generally go through the first uh, verse and then often the chorus before I would start strumming. So it sounded a little bit like this. So what you're gonna do once you learn to do those four chords, or if you already know them, is you're gonna take your capo and stick it on your first fret. So the song is originally written in the key of B flat. And I was gonna drop it down to A and see if that would lower it just enough so I could sing it well. But it turns out I've gotta put my capo on the fourth fret. So that's all wrong. That's just for the sake of demonstration. The first verse especially is really powerful. I love the words, the message to it that says, How wide is your love that you would stretch your arms and go around the world? And why for me would the Savior's cry be heard? I don't know why you went where I was meant to go. So that the first couple of phrases there, I mean, they just really build the song. They really give you context to what's going on and what the writer really wants you to know and understand. And uh, I think that's cool the way he did that, that picture there. Um, but it's also so true. Like, I should have been the one dying. Jesus died for my sins. And I'm so thankful that he died for my sins so I don't have to spend eternity separated from God. I don't want to go to hell and be in eternal torment there. So I am so thankful for God's work on the cross, Jesus Christ's work on the cross, his death, his burial, and his resurrection, which we celebrate on Easter. So that's why I really want to be able to get this video out before tomorrow is because this is about his death and about his sacrifice for us. But he didn't stay dead. He rose from the grave. It gives it very clearly in all four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, very clear account that Jesus rose from the dead and he's not in the grave anymore. And so uh, conquering that death and beating what we didn't have the power to beat and defeat on our own. So super cool. So I'm gonna play through the song once and you guys can feel free to follow along. I'm gonna put the words up and the chords above them. And I hope the song can be a blessing and a help to you guys as you celebrate what Jesus Christ has done for you. How wide 
is your law that you would stretch your arms and go around the world and why for me for the Savior's cry be heard I don't know why you went where I was meant to go I don't know why you love me so those were my nails that was my crown that pierced your hands and your brow those were my thorns those were my scorns those were my tears that fell down and just as you said it would be you did it all for me and after you counted the cost you took my shame my blame on my cross how deep is your grace that you would see my need and choose to take my place and there Father, no, forgive them, for they know not what they do. I will go, because I love them so. Those were my nails, that was my crown, that pierced your hands and your brow. Those were my thorns, those were my scorns. Those were my tears that fell down, and just as you said it would be, you did it all for me. And after you counted the cost, you took my shame, my blame. Those were my nails, that was my crown, that pierced your hands and your brow. Those were my nails, that was my crown, that pierced your hands and your brow. You took my shame, my blame on my cross. All right, everybody, thanks for watching today. If you guys have another song that you think is cool and you would like to see done on my channel, please let me know below. And if you guys have questions or comments, also leave them below. And please hit subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. That would help me out a lot with some of the YouTube goals that I'm working towards. Thanks. Have a great day. Have a great Easter tomorrow.